Okay, so Oxygen OS 10 was the best version of Oxygen OS we have ever seen from OnePlus. People who have used it will know about it. New OnePlus users from OnePlus 80 may not know how great Oxygen OS used to be. So here we'll compare the golden Oxygen OS 10 with that of Oxygen OS 12.1. And you guys let us know in the comment section below according to you guys which Oxygen OS version is the best. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we have two phones towards the left hand side. We have our OnePlus 7. Pro and towards the right hand side we have our OnePlus 10 Pro. OnePlus 7 Pro is running Oxygen OS 10.3.8 and OnePlus 10 Pro is running the latest build of Oxygen OS which is Oxygen OS 12.1 which comes with the Color OS code base. So first we'll start with the recoveries. So here you can see on both these OS 10 and 12.1 we have different recovery. We'll select the language first and once you select the language on 10 we used to see the OnePlus logo which is missing on the recovery present on 12.1 and the version of this recovery is version 1.2. On the top side you also get to see battery percentage and then we have same stuff under advanced we have the options like reboot to fast boot, reboot to recovery. Here if you see it says version 2.0. Now we will reboot both these phones and we will see any changes to be seen in the boot up screen or not. So this is the initial startup screen which is similar on both the OS and followed by OnePlus same logo. And now let's talk about the changes done in the setup screen once we reset the device or if you purchase the device for the first time. So this is how the setup screen looks which is initial setup screen. On 12.1 we do have this white background and a quite good differentiation between the text. Though on 11 we have the blue background with bit of compact text. Towards the bottom side we have similar options which is emergency call and the second one is vision setting. Then we get to see the icon along with the tabs. If you take a look at the the languages I guess we have similar languages present on 10 and 12.1 then we get the oneplus terms and condition agreement and guys here one of the major difference what people have been complaining on YouTube is related to the privacy policies agreement. On 12.1 we do get to see more permission request compared to Oxygen OS 10. But let me clear one thing guys though all the applications take the same amount of permissions on 12.1 aka Android 12 now things are more transparent and we get actual information what all permissions have been requested. I have made a dedicated video on that you guys can check that out I'll leave the link of that video in the description below. So let's tap on agree also if you enter any password on 10 we do get an additional pop up but that's not the case on 12.1 we just have a pop up of keyboard and that thing on 12.1 looks pretty clean. After that same option present on 10 and 12.1 and that's related to copy apps and data. So we'll ignore this part and now on 12.1 also we have options which gives you one tab where you have all these three options like whichever you want to select. If you want to set screen password you can choose that face unlock and fingerprint unlock according to your requirement you can choose any of them. But on 10 we only get the option of fingerprint. So we'll skip this part. We won't be adding fingerprint. Then on 10 it's asking for the screen lock password. So we'll again skip this. And now on 10 we are getting the assistant option which already appeared on 12 initially. And then we have few more additional options where if you want you can add an additional Google account, change font size and change wallpaper. But here on 12.1 we only have two options where you can add another Google account or change wallpaper. Then if you want to review additional apps, you can just tap on it and review them. If you want to disable or if you don't want system to install, you can just untick them. Though it's a bloatware kind of stuff, I personally feel shouldn't be added by default. Though it's a good thing that we are getting an option to deselect them. And if you guys take a look, we have similar fonts on 10 and 12.1. On 12.1, we have seen this new uh, tab which says auto update overnight. So I always recommend guys to disable this feature because if you guys get a buggy build, the device automatically updates overnight. Setup completed. So here we have completed the setup on. Soon you complete the setup on 10, you get a pop up to allow access to photos and medias on your device and this is from launcher. We have to allow that. So now let's ignore about this permission part. Let's quickly take a look at the changes in the UI. So now let's long press the power key and this is how it looks on 12.1 where the power menu have been moved towards the top side but on 10 we had it towards the right side. So you guys tell me which was more convenient power menu option. So this is the volume control on both the OS 
and if you see the volume panel on 10 we do get options like ringing volume media and alarm but on 12 we have bit thicker sliders along with an one additional slider of notifications first let's talk about the launcher not every user is liking the launcher present on 12.1 because it's a pure color os launcher towards the bottom side we have the options like wallpaper widgets home settings and here we get to see more options like icons layout wallpaper widgets and we also get to see this transition tab let's go to home settings i personally feel color os launcher is more feature rich compared to Oxygen OS 10 launcher. We have some basic stuff, but on 12.1, there are a lot many options to customize. For this also, we have done a detailed video, which you guys can find it in the description below. Now talking about the notification panel. So here you can see on 12.1, we do get a good separation between the things like silent notification, priority notification and other things. But here, if you see, we don't get to see any gap other than this line for separation. And also on quick setting tiles towards the top side we get to see the timing which isn't present here the rest almost everything remains same and now let's talk about the shelf so on 10 if you slide towards the right hand side this shelf menu pops up but on 12.1 now we have a new gesture to trigger shelf section and that's swiping from the right top corner also shelf is completely redesigned and i personally like the newer shelf present on 12.1 and if you take a look at the camera UI, so here also camera UI have been adapted directly from color OS. You can see this was the original UI of OnePlus, I mean to say Oxygen OS UI. But here we have the newer one from color OS and it's a personal preference guys. It completely depends on you whether you like it or not. If you go to the wallpaper section, here we again have an complete different UI wherein you get one section of live static but here on 10 we had only one option to swipe the wallpapers present on your device either they are live or static talking about the app drawer so here we have the search option on both the launchers though the search tab on 12.1 looks better compared to 10 and if you see here towards the right hand side on 12.1 we do get the alphabets to quickly switch between the applications depending on the alphabets and you have a nice animation while sliding along with a rich haptic feedback so now let's go to settings and check out what changes we get to see here one major change what you guys gonna notice on settings page on 10 we used to see the sub settings if you talk about the changes on the lock screen so here also they have done few minor changes compared to 10 and 12.1 or you can say 12 on 10 we had the clock in the center but now it's have been moved towards the left hand side with a bigger text of day and also on 12 we do get to see better rounded corners for notifications or you can also consider it on entire ui and now talking about the changes in the settings page so here there are a lot many changes done First of all, if you talk about the UI, the settings text is now enlarged compared to Oxygen OS 10. And also on 10, we used to see the sub settings under every settings page, which isn't the case on Oxygen OS 12. But many users like the previous settings page where we had all the sub menus or you can say sub settings. According to me, a better segregation was there on Oxygen OS 10 compared to 12 or 12.1. Another major UI change can be found in the about section on OS 10 or you can say 11 also we used to see the device image with other required specifications of the device like camera screen storage etc but here on 12 or 12.1 we just get the basic information storage processor model etc so for me this was better ui of about section and another major change what they have done on 12 is related to customization or you can say personalization section this was named as customization and on 12 it's named as personalization Personalization. So talking about themes, we only had three themes present on Oxygen OS 10, but on 12, you can say OnePlus have introduced this theme store. I personally don't like much of themes present on this store, but yes, if you guys want to customize your device, you can anytime try them out. And for the lock screen customization, you can see everything was in the horizontal manner. On 12, we have huge thumbnails for every section. 
Additional, we get the support of always on display on 12. Talking about the clock styles, so let me show you which all clock styles are present here. And clock styles are almost similar on both these OS. I don't see much of difference here in the clock styles. All the required clock styles can be found on 10 and even on 12. Though we get few additional options like Bitmoji feature canvas AOD and this inside clock, which is exclusive for always on display. For quick setting tile shape, we had these names under every shape, for example, round, square, tear down, etc. But that's not the case on Oxygen OS 12. Talking about tones, we do get bit extra options on Oxygen OS 12 compared to Oxygen OS 11. For the font, on 10, we had this Nota Sans and OnePlus Slate. But here on 12, that has been replaced with Roboto. On 12, we do get the support to change the font size which isn't present here, but this can be done from the display section. We had more color options for the horizon light on Oxygen OS 10 compared to 12. So whichever device you have, which is running Oxygen OS 12, we only have these three color options. Wherein on Oxygen OS 10, we had four color options to choose between horizon lights. And this is how dark mode looks on Oxygen OS 10 and Oxygen OS 12. I personally like the dark mode on Oxygen OS 12 due to its customization options. On Oxygen OS 10, we had this grayish color instead of that pitch dark. But on 12, OnePlus have given these options. For example, you can choose between enhanced, medium and gentle. Also, utility section have been renamed as special features on 12 where we get same stuff like quick launch, parallel apps, app locker. We'll talk about the app locker in the later part of the video. We also had the DC dimming feature which is missing after the update of 12. Another major change what you guys will notice is related to hidden space. So on Oxygen OS 10 and 11, hidden space was easily accessible. But that's not the case on Oxygen OS 12. If you need to use the hidden space, you have to go to the privacy section. Inside settings, privacy, and here you have the option of hide apps where you need to set up a screen password and you'll be able to hide the application. Though it was quite easy to use this feature on Oxygen OS 10 and 11. Next major change is under the battery section. Now you can see the entire UI have been changed. We do get few extra optimizations or extra features you can say. For example, high performance mode, this can enhance the gaming performance and other stuff while multitasking or heavy tasking. We got the new feature of optimized night charging which wasn't present on 10. Also new UI can be found in the storage section with different color codes for every storage usage. On 10 it was a basic UI. So guys these were some of the basic UI changes what we have seen between Oxygen OS 10 and Oxygen OS 12. You guys let me know in the comment section below according to you guys which OS is better. And I'll also be doing some speed test comparing the performance of Oxygen OS 10 with that of Oxygen OS 12. So stay tuned for that. So guys this was a quick look between one of the best OS from OnePlus so far which was Oxygen OS 10 with that of the newly released Oxygen OS OS 12 which has this color OS code base. As of now only this much in this video. I hope you guys gonna like the video. If you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you are new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.